Hi everyone, Jesse HOH here and welcome back to another video regarding Super Mario Party Jamboree. Because I've actually been doing a little bit of thinking and I think, maybe, I've come up with a cool little theory. That might have just been the worst intro of all time, but you know what, I'm just gonna roll with it. Alright, so what is my theory? My theory is I believe, from what I've seen, that every single board in Super Mario Party Jamboree will have its own exclusive item. Now I should clarify something before I start explaining my theory. If there is an 8th hidden board that we don't know of yet, which honestly I think is pretty possible, then this theory might not be legit, but I'm just going based on what we've seen of the 7 boards so far, and um, yeah, and I'm going to explain why an 8th board could throw this theory off, but yeah, on to the theory. Now the incentive for each of these boards having their own unique item would actually be pretty cool for Jamboree. It gives each board its own uniqueness and it gives you a reason to go back to each board every now and then. It will make each board feel unique from each other even more than they already are in terms of themes. So I think this is probably a good idea if this is the route they're going down. But what evidence do we have to point towards this? Let's start off with the Turbo Dust Block. So the Turbo Dice Block, we know, has or gives you the ability to roll up to four dice blocks to give you a total of 40 spaces. And looking at this item, it does look to be exclusive to Roland Raceway. So for this theory, Roland Raceway's exclusive item would be the Turbo Dice Block. But okay, this one's obvious and okay, this could be the start of something. But is there any evidence for any more exclusive items on the other boards? And the answer to that is yes, but you'll have to put your tinfoil hats on because this could go either way. And the place where my theory stems from is actually the game's box art. Now I know what you might be thinking, what does the box art have to do with exclusive items? Well, let me explain. First, let's have a look at Peach's item bag. You can see three items. One of them is the Boo Bell. One of them is the skeleton key, and one of them is a blue seashell, which we have never seen as an item before in Mario Party. If I'm wrong on that, let me know, but I believe this is a new item. But what board would fit a blue seashell item? Well, none more than Goomba Lagoon. Now, I know with this theory, I'm completely drawing straws, but think about it. This is a new item that we haven't seen before, and it really fits the look of Goomba Lagoon. If there is exclusive items in this game, that seashell 100% belongs to the Goomba Lagoon. But, okay, so far that's only two boards. There's still five other boards in this game. Can you prove that all of them have their own exclusive item? Well, not yet, but there are still a few more boards that I have yet to talk about. The next board I would like to bring into discussion is actually Western Land. Again, if we look at the game's box art, we can see that this game has skeleton keys, and Western Land is the only board in this game that actually has gates, or doors, or whatever you want to call them. Which means that the skeleton key would be Western Land's specific item. And this is where the, if there is 8 boards in the game, it could kill this theory, because if we do get another unlockable board in this game, it could actually have, you know, skeleton keys in it and gates and stuff. Which means that this would not be Western Land's specific, you know, sort of item. Which means that this whole theory could be dead. Or, Western Land could just have its own, another specific item. And the other board, whichever one it might be, if it does have skeleton keys or whatnot, would also have its own little specific item. Unless the unlockable board just doesn't have its own unique thing. But, anyways, continue on with the theory. The final board that I would like to discuss today is actually Rainbow Galleria. So if you've been keeping up with Super Mario Party Jamboree videos, you would probably know about the little stamp concept that people have found. As you can see all over the board, I'll try and zoom in on them. There are four different little individual places that you can collect up to four stamps. And now a lot of people are speculating, once you've found your four stamps, you run it back to this little shop here, and you'll get some sort of reward. Some people are saying coin, some people are saying a star, but I personally think this will be where you get the exclusive item from. 
Now, if I was a betting man, this exclusive item would obviously be a shell, because that's what we can see. Now, I'm not sure what this shell could do. Maybe you can bowl it down a few spaces, and if it hits someone, maybe within a 10 space radius, it takes some of that coins from them and gives it to you. I don't know, just a few ideas to throw out there. But no matter the case, the reward for collecting all four stamps needs to be worthwhile for people to actually do it. And I think an exclusive item that you can't buy in the shops would be the perfect incentive. But yeah, that is my theory. I think that is why we could, and most likely will, if my theory is correct, we'll get exclusive um, items for each board. So let me know down below what you think of this theory. Do you think I'm onto something or do you think I'm on something? Let me know down below. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. So, take care.